My whole life is on these two devices. It's been six years since Kelly Raleigh started using an insulin pump to manage her type 1 diabetes. I would never go back to taking shots every day because it's so convenient and it's just one less thing with type 1 diabetes you have to think about. This is um, this is a CGM or a continuous glucose monitor. Her CGM monitors her blood sugar then delivers those readings to her phone. So right now I'm 119 which is perfectly in range. Then Kelly can remotely program her pump to deliver insulin based on those levels. When you go low and you don't have immediate glucose, immediate sugar to fix it, you can very quickly go into a coma and very quickly die if there's not something to fix it. That's why it's hard for her to imagine what could happen if someone hacked into her insulin pump. But Johnson & Johnson says it's a possibility with their one-touch ping insulin delivery system, even though the probability of it happening is extremely low. I think it's a great tool. Dr. Leela Mansouri is a board certified endocrinologist and says although it raises concern, patients still have a lot of control when it comes to determining whether or not they've been hacked. Be extra diligent in checking their blood sugars to make sure that it's under good control and that if something seems unusual, they need to report it to their doctor. Dr. Mansouri says she would tell her patients not to be too concerned. Kelly says she isn't. The benefits of being able to, to use a pump for diabetes management so far outweigh any kind of risk of being able to be hacked. Accepting technology with its benefits and its challenges. For The Now, I'm Kamasi Aaron.